It's always nice to get a warning about dense fog that you've been fighting already for the past three hours. And Carpe Seuss, about four hours into the hunt, spied these two boars. I'm getting lined up on them here, but unfortunately there's some tree limbs between the boars and myself, and so I'm not able to shoot from this location. So I'm going to pick up my sticks and move off to the right. While doing so, keep an eye on them with my IR patrol. And then get back to shooting with my IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight. While the boars continue to move off, the boar in the lead keeps putting his nose in the air. He's the most security conscious. And so that's going to be my primary target. Alright, here we go. Three shots, three hits, and both boars are down. I checked on the first boar and confirmed that he was indeed dead. But I could not see the second boar from the first boar. But he left behind this nice blood trail that, as you can see from the inset, he is gushing blood as he makes his egress. This goes on for about a total of 40 yards before I find the second boar. And while there was little doubt with all that blood loss, he is indeed also dead. The two hogs came in at 160 pounds for the first boar, 150 for the second boar. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. This is the last frame before the shot broke showing where I was aiming. This is where the shot actually impacted. A little bit lower than I would expect expected, but the hog was on the move. The shot entered just below the scapula, across the thoracic cavity, as you can see here, and embedded itself just under the skin on the opposite side. The custom reloads of Dallas Spear Gold Dot had excellent weight retention, with 109.4 grains recovered from a 120 grain bullet. It impacted about 2277 feet per second, entering below the right scapula, breaking two ribs, did some circulatory system damage, damaged the left lung, broke one rib on exiting the thoracic cavity, went through the scapula, and was embedded in the skin after about 11 inches of penetration. Here's the last frame before the shot broke in bore number two, and this is where the shot impacted. For both of these shots, this bore was on the move, and here you see the last frame before the shot broke, and then where the shot actually impacted. Both of the shots entered low, the first shot being below the scapula, the scapula being peeled back that you see there, and the second shot going through the abdomen that you see on the left. As with the first hog, the first shot transited diagonally across the thorax, embedding itself in the left shoulder, and the second shot punched straight through the abdomen, exiting with about a nickel-sized hole. In looking at the first shot on bore number two, it expanded quite nicely. It also impacted at about 2,277 feet per second, entering below the right scapula, breaking costal cartilage, which connects the ribs to the sternum, did circulatory damage, broke a rib on exiting the thoracic cavity, passed through the top edge of the scapula, and embedded itself in the skin after about 10 inches of penetration or so. As the shot passed clean through, there was no bullet recovered. It impacted at about 2,206 feet per second, entering the right side abdomen and exiting higher up on the left side with about a nickel size exit hole after about 7 inches of penetration. Carpe Seuss, my friends.